you're scouting. You camped here in this little saddle where uh, there are some cow beds and stuff. It's a little chilly down here in the saddle, actually. It's about to get light here. We can just kind of start to make some trees and stuff out on these hillsides. So Troy's going to hike up to where we were yesterday. It's only about probably like 100 yards. Uh, try to look, locate those bucks we saw yesterday. See if kind of they're doing the same thing they've been doing. Me and Corey are going to drop down over this backside here a little bit and try to get closer to these side hills over here and hopefully be able to pick something out over there whenever the sun gets light. Yesterday, I picked one out in the timber, but it was just with the smoke and everything and how far away we were, probably at least 2,000 yards away. It was just too hard to, to glass from that far back. So we're gonna try to shave off five to 800 yards probably, hopefully, and uh, hopefully be able to pick something out there. We'd like to have, we have one group located near there's buck in this area at least, but. We'd like to have a couple more located if possible. Today's the last day to scout, so we're gonna do that. And then probably around like 10, 11, we're gonna hoof it back down to the truck, grab a bunch of food, restock water, and then as everything is going the way we're hoping it's gonna go and those buck are still here and we find some more buck, we're gonna camp back up here and tomorrow's opening day, so Troy spot the first buck, he'll have the rifle in his hand first. Hopefully he'll be able to get that big four point he found down. All right, see you in a few hours. All right, we're just set up glass in this side hill here. And uh, Isaac picked out a couple doe here down in the bottom by the aspen trees. Seems like that's where we see most of the deer and elk is, you know, by the trees on these sagebrush side hills. See if there's any buck around. saw a single doe bed in that top brush in that valley over there. I'm elk sure were, a buck in the elk were over in there. Group of does are down here. Some deer, I don't know, unidentified went in there. We saw a truck with a four-wheeler. Truck over there on that road. Yeah. You could see me going over there tomorrow and shooting that gnarly buck. And then, then they came. I don't know what happened, but the, the big one just started staring at him. Just staring at him. And he just walks down and starts locking up, and they locked up for like a minute. I'm like, there's no way I'm shooting that gnarly one because that other one's gonna kick its butt. <laughs> like, <laughs> he just looked like a beast. Dude. So how do you how do you think we kill these things? Well, if we can get to that ridge there, I think we got it made because they're. All, like they never really strayed far from that brush and they were looking that way like the whole time until they decided to come back so you're thinking we go up do they get do they go on the bottom of the brush the wind's right yeah right where that little cutout is kind of right at the top of it all right well 
head for water or head for the truck, shoot the guns. Bucks came out, we're gonna head for the trucks, grab the guns, smoke's clear, and we can see that basin a lot better now this morning. I definitely think we do some still hunting. If we can't glass anything up, that's our only option. Really. Yeah, if we can't glass them in day, we'll maybe there. still hunt. We find patches like that stuff drilling in. And yeah, and just on the edge or something. yeah, stuff we haven't seen them in or something. We're just walking down the water here, and we're we're dropping down this drainage, and I had a feeling this would happen, but we're popping out. We're flushing. We're kicking up does as we're going out here. There's water in this creek. And uh, it's just tracked and ate up the crap. You can see it. All the bushes and everything. They're just ate right off. But uh I think what it's it's showing us is every time we hike, we kick up deer pretty much wherever we go. And we haven't kicked up a big buck yet. Some smaller ones. But uh Midday, they're all bedded up, I think. If we're not seeing any action glassing, we're probably gonna still hunt some of these drainages in uh, Eastern style. We got about another two miles to the truck, maybe lots of elevation to lose. And, uh, should be good to go. All right, everybody, we just made it down here, took the guns, shot them, downloaded all our footage on the computer, charged up the batteries. All the guns are shooting dead on, so that was good. I thought for sure one of us would be off for just some reason, but we all shot within an inch at 100 yards. Got the packs loaded up, enough food for three, four days, packed up a bunch of water, and uh, we're headed back to camp. Where we'll probably glass some bucks again tonight. I don't know where else we'll go. Smoke's clearing up a little bit, so that's good for glassing. I think the smoke will get bad tomorrow on opening day with the west wind, but should be ready to rock. Ready to kill now. Yeah, I'm ready to kill. So I can get this gun off my back the better. I know, that's why I said. <laughs> Deep. We just about got the worst of it out of the way though, it kind of flattens out a little bit. At least not as steep the rest of the way. We're probably honestly about halfway to, to the peak and then downhill from there. Whew. Troy's leading the charge. Only his legs ahead. I cannot keep up with those things. Oh, so once designed. I start, I gotta keep going. That's why I just. Sucks to keep trying to start again. We're making it though. We're getting elevation. Got from the hiked up from the truck. Pretty brutal hike, but finally made it. Cooked up a little bit of lunch and uh, kind of chilled out for a little bit while I'm caught some service. Got some calls and text out, and uh, now we're gonna hunt for the evening glassing session. So, night before opening day, hopefully, we'll be able to turn those buck up that we've been watching the past few days. And me and Core are gonna head over kind of try to peek into another drainage and hopefully find another bachelor group. So, Cole already spotted one deer already. He was up there talking to his camp. wife, about 200 yards from camp. He's in the doghouse a little bit for leaving on his wife's birthday. So, you know, see how that impacts the hunt.
glassing knob didn't really see much night cool saw a couple of dough not really the greatest vantage point but it is what it is Troy was over there where he's been glassing his buck from making sure they kind of go back in the same bush to bed that they have been going in so fingers crossed that happened then we're gonna go back cook up some dinner and a uh, game plan for how we're gonna go try to kill one of those buck tomorrow morning so we're gonna head back and see see what Troy saw so fingers crossed and those does that he was with, they worked their way over and I think they're pretty sure he bedded up from up like the, yeah. up in the rocks, not all the way at the top but down in the, there was a herd of cows down below them. What about the big buck? They didn't come out. Big well, buck? Well, not where I could see them. They might have been on our side of the ditch there. I wouldn't have been able to see them. I think that's probably good though. They seem to be out more in the morning. Yeah. If they aren't out now, then they'll be out in the morning, hopefully. All right. So, we have a game plan for tomorrow. Cook dinner up tonight. We're doing a mountain house. Lasagna and meat sauce. Cold cooked the same one. Never had this one before. That's not done yet. Smells very good. Smells like actual lasagna and meat sauce. Kind of weird. Oh, that's good. This is an eight and a half, easy eight and a half. Mm. This tastes like actual like spaghetti and meat sauce. That's pretty good. That's pretty good stuff. Better than the stroganoff. This is my favorite one. This is better than the potato soup. This is my favorite one so far. Mm. All right, open day tomorrow. Got some bucks bedded down. Got a good plan. Guns are dialed in, Troy's ready to go. So be sure to check back in for tomorrow's video. See ya.